Peggy 16. My greatest triumph was at hand. The final campaign in my long war against Superman. While his powers were drained from constant battle, I struck, luring him from his self-imposed exile. But my obsession had blinded me to the real threat, to Earth's true enemy. some artillery. Deathstroke, time for you to join the party. Something. Greetings, sister.
Brainiac had returned. For years, he'd been stealing the powers of Earth's protectors, but we were too busy fighting amongst ourselves to see the danger. With you three dead, Brainiac quickly eliminated the remaining heroes. The lucky ones died fighting. Finally, I alone survived a rat in the walls of the Brainiac construct. I have traveled through time to warn you. This is my past, but your future. And it means the end of humanity, so together, we must change it! What have you done, Luthor? Given you a fighting chance. He's lying. It's some kind of trap. Why should we trust you? Because if you don't, Earth is doomed. There we go. Let's start all that over again because I am doing Meps's job poorly. So, hello everybody. Welcome to the webcast. Um, my name is Jens Anderson. I'm the creative director on the project, and this is SJ Miller. She is our assistant creative director. Hello again. Okay, <laughs> hello for real this time. Uh, we're really excited to be showing you guys DLC 7 right now and everything that's going to be going on with it, uh, starting off with some of our council members. Um, as you saw, we just got into kind of the story we've been telling since launch with DCUO. 
We're good. Uh, the story we've been telling since launch for DCUO and building to for this very moment. So we're super excited to start sharing it with you. Now, SJ, um, you had a lot to do with you know DLC 7, tying all this backstory together. Um, she's our uh, writer extraordinaire, our editor uh, in chief, so to speak, here on the DC team. And do you want to tell everybody a little bit about what you do? Uh, well, I, like you said, I, I deal a lot with the writing, with the narrative, with the VO, with the backstory, trying to make everything fit together, which sometimes can be an challenging. interesting task. Yes, it's very, it can be challenging, but it's definitely very fun, and I, and I, and I love doing it. And uh, time travel just makes everything a little bit more interesting. I know. You know, what people don't realize is that we've been telling a story in two directions through time with this, right? Yeah, we for started time. for a long time. I mean, actually, since launch. Um, so that's been really exciting you know we've been sort of had this story where there's future Batman and future Luther that future Luther was the one who started everything off he comes back with the exobytes as we saw in the first movie you know he talks about this apocalyptic future uh, and even that movie itself is a slightly is a future we're never gonna see because right. he comes back before all the heroes and the villains murder each other <laughs> in that moment I always feel bad you know, especially with the new Arrow show on TV, when I see Green Arrow lying there dead right in the beginning. No. I'm like, I wonder if that would have happened if we tried to make that now, <laughs> given that the show is on there. Um, so yeah, we've been really building up to this story and talking about how future Luther came back with these exobytes, released them, and, and sort of really spawned the origin or a possible origin for all of you out there as our players. And uh, then we put out a couple of DLCs that really took that to the next level, the first one yeah. being Lightning Strikes. Right. First, Paradox. First in game foray. That's into right. Time travel. And uh, there was Paradox appearing all throughout Central City, and we had some really. Uh, uh, interesting questions like somebody was monkeying with people's origins uh, they sent the the rogues some of the rogues back in time mm -hmm. to stop the flash but from becoming who who he was yeah they promised him everything they promised me everything he said right yeah, yeah. who is they we're gonna find out okay then we see future Batman actually does make it back in DLC 3 We've been, uh, you know, battle for Earth. We have the uh, uh, prime avatars and Brainiac's supposed mm -hmm. fall at that moment, yep. right? Future Batman comes back at the end when future Lex Luthor thinks he's won everything. Right. Well, what did he say? He said, I'm coming for I'm you. I'm coming for you. And then DLC 7 really, really Green lives Lantern up to that promise for sure. Our allies only... Okay, I am going to jump into game here so we can show you a little bit about these council members. Tonight we're going to go through and kind of show you all of the various future Luther and future what future Luther and what future Batman have been up to down in the nexus of reality because that's really what happened right at the right. end they both jump in and take over their own little areas yes of the they nexus. do all right let me just get a uh, uh, command up and going here do you want to talk a little bit about the councils and what they are while I get this this going sure. let's actually I'll put the screen up of the the council members we've been doing this thing called mm -hmm. tweeting called meet the council right right so who are the council exactly so as you can see we've got future Batman and future Lex out front and they've got a little team on each side now they're not they're not working together these two teams they're actually working in opposition of each other. right um, they've carved out basically like dimensional pockets within the nexus of reality because that is the center of everything. It's the center of existence, the center of multiverse. Yeah, let's explain that really quick. Yeah. So there's a thing, this concept of the multiverse, right? Right. Which right now I guess is centered around these 52 Earths. Right. Right. And apparently, despite the guardians of the universe, you know, vile propaganda campaign <laughs> to relic, you know, relegate Earth to a backwater planet status, it actually is. The center of the universe, right. right? In fact, the center of the multiverse, which I think is pretty cool. Indeed. All right, here we go. I'm going to load in here. And so what's happened is they've jumped down into this, you know, nexus of reality that Brainiac created to assimilate all of reality. And they have been running the show down there. Now, they're actually in the same spot, same space, but right. existing in different pockets of reality, you said. Yeah, so like at a phase shifted, with each other. Yeah. Shifted. That's a good way to put it. Okay, let me go in here to our video. There we go. Okay, here we go. So, uh, I promised some of you earlier today that you were going to see a little bit of an environment for DLC 7. Well, this is it right here. This is the Paradox Wave, or at least it's the entry to the Paradox Wave. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where 
all of the Paradox Reapers that you've been seeing in-game, both in Central City, out in Metropolis, and Gotham City, those Paradox Reapers that have been coming in, this is kind of where they've been gathering inside the, uh, inside the Speed Force, I suppose, right? To, to gather all the Paradox. Yeah, a little, a little place they've carved out for themselves. Yes. All right, let me just... Uh, you know, they're po always popping into reality, thing. but where are they coming from? They are. They are coming through. They are using the speed force because of the cosmic treadmill to actually get into our reality. Mm -hmm. Let me just uh, get rid of that inventory there. Okay. All right, and I have Meps in here. Hey, Meps is at a secure remote location. I think uh, Dead Meat decided that it was unsafe to have both of us in the same room at the same time. Meps, are you there? I'm here. Hey, folks. Okay, good. Sorry I didn't introduce you sooner. I'm just trying to get all these things that you normally push done. It's a lot of buttons, way. right? It's a lot of buttons, man. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, anyway, so this is actually a section of the Paradox Wave, and it's kind of the place you enter into. So I'm not going to show you more than this room, but you probably noticed that some of those Paradox Reapers, both in Central City and in Metropolis and Gotham City, have been kind of evolving. They've been changing a little bit. You might have noticed that the models changed uh, a little while ago, and this is because they've been sort of gathering and building power here in the Paradox Wave, and they might actually go through another evolution very soon once DLC 7 releases. <laughs> So that's pretty sinister. So anyway, these uh, this is sort of a place that they've carved out here. These look like maybe, I don't know. We'll talk about these later when we get to the Paradox Wave. Mm -hmm. But this is a bit of a new environment here. I hope you guys like what you see. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is show you a whole bunch of these council members. So why don't we start out with the Council of Batmen. And I'm going to ask uh, Meps at his secure location, undisclosed, undisclosed, <laughs> um, to start spawning some of the Batman council guys here so we can kind of take a look at them. All right, here comes future Batman. All right, well, future Batman we've seen a lot of, so let's take a look at him just so we can get... This is the guy who's running the show for the Council of Batman down in the Nexus of Reality, and it's the it's a cool model. You know, you saw him in the Fractured Future. I love, the, um, I love that this is like a hand blaster kind of weapon for him right there. Did you notice that in the movie? He was like oh, okay. yeah. blasting out there. And it has knives on it, little blades. Pretty cool. Yeah, I really, I really like the blades. Yeah, and unfortunately, he's not so handsome under there anymore. No. But we love Bruce for what's inside. <laughs> well, not really, because it's really dark in there. I was Maybe say the dark cobwebs yeah. and bats. It's scary. So, but he has good intentions. Okay, so here's future Batman. He is leading the show uh, down there in the Nexus of Reality, and he has actually through as the as these two. Future Batman and Future Luther have been warring in time and space with each other. They've been creating alternate timelines and realities. Right. And they actually end up meeting up with new versions of themselves mm -hmm. that really shouldn't exist. They're yeah. kind of anomalies, right? Yeah, they're just, it's kind of like, just, there's so many paradoxes happening basically because of future Batman and future Lex Luthor mm -hmm. altering so many different events right. that we're getting all these offshoots of realities and creating more Batman, more Lex Luthers. So, what's better than having an entire council exactly they start working together they're like-minded you know the batmen start working together to try and thwart the luthers and their numbers keep growing and mm -hmm. until we end up with this council of five including future batman future lex so let's take uh let's get let's have him uh check out here ted later batman all right um there's a cool uh paradox effect by the way a little nexus of reality effect i should call it and let's get one of the other ones in here why don't you surprise us with who's going to come up I'm assuming oh, they're going to be okay. in the same place. Mm, power. I don't know. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> Fun for you. Nice. All right. Oh, yeah. This is like everyone's kind of favorite here. This is steam-powered Batman. Yeah. And you want to tell us a little bit about him, SJ? I, uh, I'm sure we can uh, get most of it from the aesthetics there. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, Steam-powered Batman comes from a reality where technology is a little bit different. It's powered by different things, like, I don't know, maybe Steam. Steam. And uh, he gets a whole new arsenal of abilities and style and just every... I freaking love this character, I gotta I know. say. And uh, I really like the way he sounds. Uh, might, he we, does sound cool. We might not hear a lot today, but... oh, I th We'll no, hear a we few might. bits of chatter. On. We'll but, hear uh, a few bits of chatter. It's pretty awesome. I love the bolted bat on. Which, yeah, that way, is really neat. It's like a, an actual kind of 
a, it's like a fix to him. Style. And it's like yeah. our character art team did a great job, I think, especially with not slapping gears on it and yeah. just going, well, there it is. You and know, maybe some steam whistles. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they made him look like what Batman would look like. They definitely that restrained cool kind of themselves. alternate, you know, kind of history right There's there. The, let's check out the boots and the <sighs> foggy cool. paradox mist here. I like how he shifted around so you got mm -hmm. a better, better look at the boots there. Cool. But, um, now he's got an inch. He, by the way, we're going to do something fun in a little bit, okay? We're going to answer some what-if questions here. Maybe have our own little, you know, DC iconic deathmatch thing going on. We'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> He's gnarly. Just keep that in mind. If you're going to be doing any kind of, you know, side betting with each other in the chat room, might want to go with Steam Powered Batman. But uh, don't take me to the bank on that, because if you lose, it's not my fault. <laughs> so I like to call this guy the world's greatest detective. He truly is. He has oh, that yeah. whole, like... He's from know, that genre yeah, of like intellect. It's, it's, yes, it's all about, you know, deducing how things have, mm -hmm. have come to be, not just, you know, the, the punching, which we have a couple that like to do punching. I wish we had some of the outtakes from Kevin Conroy's oh, uh, yes. uh, that um, was performance. Rough. Kevin Conroy came back and did all of these mm -hmm. Batman for us, and he did different versions of the character for each one and uh, same thing with James Marsters for Luther yeah. and uh, this one probably gave him a little bit of the, the most trouble right I think we, we started out yeah. and it was getting a little teen crumpet and we had to kind of come <laughs> back it was our fault we, uh, uh, we I wrote it a it little teen crumpet yeah. <laughs> I was told by Kevin himself. there you go <laughs> so uh, yeah we got it back and you, you'll see he's, he's really right. cool alright let's get let's uh, have him check out back to the nexus alright leave the paradox wave go back to the nexus sir all right, and then let's get another one of these guys in there. Why don't you surprise us again? Ah, Here is Ninja Batman. Yeah. yeah, there's our puncher right Ninja there. Ninja Batman. So it's uh, this guy. He's pretty much he's Ninja Batman, and he it's it's what if you know Bruce in this timeline really dedicated everything towards that whole you know you know uh, ninjutsu. And like you know, a little bit of spiritualism in there, but not not too much. He's straight up ninja. Of course, he's still a genius. You know, he's a genius in any any timeline. Yeah. But um, this he's he's quieter. He he walks softly and carries a big stick. Most of the things in that utility belt probably involve smoke, <laughs> some kind of smoke bomb, maybe some. What would they could be called? Caltrops be called like bat trops. Bat tr Maybe some bat trops or something. Oh, I don't, I, we'd have to get that approved. First. I know exactly. <laughs> no, uh, and of course the ninja toad boots. We gotta have that. We gotta have those. I mean, you're not a ninja without them. No. So I love this look. He's he's really cool, and we'll we'll see a little him in action in a little bit as well. Yeah, I'm I'm glad we went with the st straight on black too. That's yeah. true ninja. I've and look look at that. I love personally the. Um, the belt, not the utility belt itself, but the, oh, the stuff yeah, that, that it's attached sweet. to, that really wide leather, like it, it just really looks like it's meant to protect his midsection there. I, I, I dig this character. He's pretty cool. Very stealthy. All right. Back to the shadow, sir. He's gone. Doo -doo. All right. Let's try another one. All now right. I'm kind of curious. I, I got to save Primal for last. So. Oh, spoiler, Ted. Oops. Oh, gosh. Spoiler. Now you should just do him now. I know, I should not nope, too late. All too right, late. all right. This one we like to call... GCPD Batman. That's right. He is fully sanctioned by the Gotham City Police Department to operate. He's not a vigilante. He works alongside works with them. the police department. He does not work for them. So you can see the uh, Gotham City, uh, you know, kind of emblem right there. For He's got his badge. A little badge on there. on his sleeve. That's right. Like his heart. And he's really cool. I think I, I like this idea of what if there was this sort of alternate timeline where he actually came into the fold in law right. enforcement. Like what mm -hmm. what changed in Gotham City that actually made the citizens and the police really want to work with yeah, him? Yeah, reach out to yeah, the bat and exactly. get him on board and make him willing. And what was different about it that made him willing to even do that? Because it's not really part of his That's mo. True. You know, so he's really cool. I like him a lot. All right, so last one, which we know now. Thanks to Ted. Wait, let's find out what it is. It's, it's primal. Primal Batman. Primal. Nice. There he is. All right, cool. So, what's this guy's story? What, what, where, what timeline does he come from? 
clearly the one where they don't have fine thread, right? <laughs> messed they, up timeline. Yeah. Yarn is really big. Yarn, yarn is huge in right. this universe. Yarn and tattered rags. <laughs> but uh, he became the Batman in a different way. He sought uh, out, like, spiritualism and mysticism. And Maybe he, he, the Bat Totem. Right, exactly. Really harnessed very out of that Very totemic, angle. and uh, he's very focused. He can, you know... It's uh, not enough to know his destiny. He controls his destiny. And, and he's, now he's reaching out, trying to control other people's destinies. I, I really dig this guy. I love the scarring on him. He looks so bad. I know. He looks like he's been through the ringer for sure. This is, this is exactly why modern, you know, sort of more technologically savvy Batman actually wear body armor. Yeah. Right? Because you know, this, this looks like he's Apparently the spirit of the bat the does not protect your torso nope. very well. Nope. Plus, you badass. run out of shoe polish after a while <laughs> putting the Yes, that is on. his war paint. Yeah. <laughs> that is war paint. He is angry. And uh, they do not have dentists in their universe. No. <laughs> they but, just file uh, the teeth uh, down this sharp. Guy's, this guy's awesome, and I, yeah. I really dig Kevin's reads on a lot of his lines. Okay. It just totally gets you in the mood to kick somebody's ass. Yeah. He has some sick shoulder muscles, too. He's probably the biggest, beefiest of the, of yeah, the Batman, yeah. for sure. He works out a lot. He works out. He lifts a lot of rocks mm-hmm. back where he's from. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's it. We've seen all of our... Whoa! What happened oh, there? Oh, technical difficulties. Yeah. Wow. Oh, God. Right. It's like a splintered reality. It is. It's happening right now. It is. Now, the interesting part about this... Let me see if I have this, uh, this other sheet here there so I go. can spawn. Can you... Hey, Ted, do me a favor. Put in, uh, put in one of the shifted versions when you get summon all these guys back. If I get these Batman cleaned up. Yeah, when you get them cleaned up. So God. basically, what happens here when you go down into the Nexus of Reality, and you'll see this when we actually show the raid. Um, you know, there's one Batman that's in tune with the reality that you're in, and it's random each time. Um, the other, the other, or or one Luther actually, if you're facing the Luthers. The other ones are shifted, phase shifted out. They're from an alternate reality and an alternate timeline. They have an interesting kind of paradoxy of effect on them. Um, so let's check that out so we can show you what we're talking about. You'll notice the ones that are actually real and the ones or in phase with you and the ones that are, you know, sort of shifted from another timeline. Okay, here you go. So you can see right here we've got these uh, new this new paradox uh, kind of effect going on which like really makes them kind of vibrate. We're still tuning things here and probably tone down a little of the wiggles going on, but you can kind of see some more it's supposed to be more like like the static kind of hits. So you'll really be able to kind of call out targets and know who's from where and what the real deal is of who the the main boss is based on who's not phase shifted out in this mode. So you can kind of see what these guys look like right here. And we'll tone down some of that staticky stuff a little bit. We have our, our director still working on that right now. It'll probably mo- look a little bit more like that. Okay, so, oops, I just got into power save mode on this uh, this other machine here, Meps. So, um, can you give us? So I need to tell you the password. Yeah, just give here. me on the chat what that is, please. <laughs> I need to wiggle the mouse more. Apparently, I'm not as busy as you over here. Hopefully we'll see it on that screen. I don't know if we will. Okay, mm. let me try one. The old, good old standby. One, two, three. I got it. I got five. it. Yeah. There we go. Okay. We are good. We are back. All right. So, do we want to start showing some Luthers now? Oh, yeah. All right. I will be spawning those later, Meps, but let's have you spawn them for now. Sure. So that I can uh, keep driving the camera here. All right, so the Luthers, Luther has gathered up a bunch of paradox copies of himself from fractured timelines and things, and these guys are really cool. There's some neat, neat characters in here, and I think, I think it's very Lex, and it shows some possibilities and in, in different ways he could have been, or yeah, I like he's still said, evil. I like the way you said um, they're very Lex, because the idea behind all these characters is. We're you know we're exploring certain parts of who they really yeah. are inside, what, and, yeah. you know, in a, f- a fractured kind of way. What if we emphasize this aspect mm-hmm. of the character, right? Like so, Batman's you know totemic kind of identification right, with, with the, the bat, bat mm-hmm. and being that primal side of him, or his his intellect with the steam the steam powered one, right? The and the ninja one in terms of all the stealth, because we kind of almost boiled them down into base elements and created mm-hmm. these versions of the character. So here's Future Luther. He's the guy that started it all. Okay, and he is the one who thought he was going to be jumping down into the nexus of reality and basically taking over the world at that point. But uh, yeah, he's not. He very was happy. wrong. 
future he's, Batman yeah. did come for yeah, me. Yeah, he's not too mm-hmm. pleased about that. No. <laughs> All right, so let's have him go back down to the Nexus, and we'll s- bring up some of the other council guys from there. And Away with you, Luther. Go back I'm in not, time again. I'm not able to kill Luther. Oh, well, good point. I'll do that for you. Or he is a villain, and so am I. Exactly. Let me take care of that. All right, go away, sir. All right. Let's see. Do you want me to surprise you again? Yeah, surprise us. All right. So this is Professor Luther. Professor Luther, <laughs> indeed. Um, like we were talking how we distilled them down a little bit. He is the the mad scientist. The inventor. The, right? the, the, uh, exactly, the inventor. And uh, I like to think of him as also the intellectual. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of like steam-powered Batman in the yeah. sense that it's about reason and science and such. It's a little bit, he's a little more space age, as you can see, mm-hmm. than uh, than steam steam powered Batman. But he's kind of to me, he's got that kind of like Einstein thing, you know, where Einstein maybe only had a, like one pair, multiple pairs of like pants and a shirt, and just wore the same thing all the time. Because you know the khakis, rocking the khakis here. That's a bold move, I think. <laughs> he he is a true scientist. Yeah, exactly. We try to nerd him up as much <laughs> as possible. He needs a name tag. That's no, the only no thing. Hi, I'm Lex. <laughs> yeah, no pocket. <laughs> That'd be good. But, All right, we'll um, make that note. Uh, he's he's very uh, very uh, typical villain. I really like this guy. He's uh, uh, got a great uh, voice. And hey, safety first. He's got the goggles. Yeah, I mean, you do not want to practice villainy without your safety goggles. No, Absolutely. definitely not. All right, so let's uh, let's send uh, future Lex back here. He also coordinates green and purple matches. His oh, that's very well. true. Yeah. All right, and in his place we have, we have General uh, Lex Luthor. Yeah. And he is the strategist, the tac- tactician. Mm-hmm side of Lex Luthor. He, in uh, his world, he basically used like corporate espionage and just dominated, you know, technological industry by using uh, military tactics, and it was very effective for him. Yeah, so he's like the guy who, he actually, he's the Luthor that'll lead the charge, right? Yeah, he'll he, be out he's there. He's a field commander. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's, he's really cool, and we'll see some of his abilities when we uh, do something fun in a few minutes. All yeah, right. if anybody was going to vie for, for power on this council, it, it, he'd go after it'd be, it. It'd be General Luther. Yeah, for sure. All I don't right. think future think, Luther will let that happen. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, there might be some <laughs> issues there. Each of these guys might have their own uh, their own agendas. All right. Um, what's next, Meps? Here we go. Oh, this is my favorite! Yes. To Metropolis and beyond! That's what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, and beyond <laughs> indeed. Space Commander Luther. He... Uh, he can fly. It, he totally he can. can fly. He was uh, using. He was basically. He actually has a pretty cool backstory. He went into space to work on some of the LexCorp, you know, satellites and such. But terrible accident, as happens in comic books and related subjects. But and he actually cannot take the suit off now. He was just totally covered in you know graviton particles and all that that terrible stuff that happens Ooh, out in space. Graviton, that's very quantum of you. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Indeed. So. Hint. <laughs> thanks. And so he has rather interesting powers associated with it. He actually has some pretty cool powers. You yeah. know, he, he didn't have to rely on technology. Some of it came through. Uh, freaks of nature and happenings to him. He's, uh, to me, he's super golden age. Yeah. You know, and mm-hmm. he, even his backstory is very golden age, totally. you know, like, an, on, an, on a spaceship, off into the atmosphere, <laughs> the radiation hit the ship and bad things <laughs> happened, you know? That's like standard fare for back then, I think, and yeah. he fits it perfect. Yeah, I dig the retro futurism mm-hmm. kind of helm mm-hmm. thing going on there. Helmet. Yeah. And I, I personally, I love this, uh, the backpack that goes into the, the, yeah, the cool. tubes of the breather and everything like that. It's so dope. I love it. All right. Off with you, Lex. Back to the Nexus. To beyond. And then, um, yes, <laughs> to beyond <laughs> with you. All right. Um, and next we have oh, Cybernetic, cybernetic Luther. Luther. Okay, this, this guy's guy. pretty cool. Why don't you describe him? By the way, everyone should note this Lex Luthor definitely compensated and used his injuries to his advantage. He is the tallest of the Luther- Luthers. <laughs> he clearly gave himself a lift when installing these new legs. That's, you know, and I, I think these might even go go gadget a little bit, like, <laughs> up when he needs to. 
He does have a superiority complex because he's now way better than everyone else. I he's mean, look taller at, look, look than at Superman. Look at that robot arm. <laughs> yeah, that robot arm it's is pretty cool. It's freaking awesome, and he thinks so too, so he's, he's pretty cocky. He, so what happened to this guy? Uh, it started out as an accident. It was kind of a Cold War backstory kind of thing. Yep. He was injured. He got, you know, some upgrades, and he liked them quite a lot. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Lex Luthor, of course, if you gets more power, he's just going to want more. So he decided, you know, I, I should just get rid of all these little fleshy bits. I could do so much better with some crazy titanium alloy and lots of green glowing things. I think this character hits on a lot of really cool popular characters that have appeared over the years in all kinds of different fiction. You know, that, that feeling of like, I mean, and even in, in uh, you know, DC with characters like Cyborg, right? right? Um, you know, he really, and Metallo, right? He really kind of hits that note yeah. for me. It's funny you mentioned Cyborg because I kind of thought of him kind of feeling the exact opposite as Cyborg. Cyborg's always struggling with his, you know, humanity. Yes. Am I human anymore? I don't know. This guy's almost abandoning it. Yeah, he's right? like, I don't care. I'm yeah. awesome now. <laughs> ah, emotions. I'm unfettered with them now. This is perfect. I love his eyes. Yeah, they're cool. Or green eyes. He looks especially angry compared to the others. He almost makes Space Commander he look has happy. has cybernetic um, angry brows. Is that <laughs> <laughs> cybernetic Botox, like right in there, <laughs> just like the nan- permanent nanites. frown. <laughs> All right, so there's, there's Luther, and we will send him back to the Nexus as well. All right, so... We're going to do something pretty cool now, I think, right? Well, hang on one sec. Oh, question okay. The room. What's that? We have a question from the chat room. Oh, great, great. Let's take some questions. Where, uh, where are we going to meet these guys in-game? Okay, great question. So you're going to meet these guys in-game in two places, right? Right. The first one's going to be here in the Paradox Wave. Right. Um, we'll go through exactly how they factor into it. Uh, but in this version, you are going to be teaming up with your side's council. Mm-hmm. So if you're a villain and you come into the Paradox Wave, you're going to be working with the Council of Luthers um, to accomplish what we'll talk about later at another time. And if you're a hero, you'll come in here into the Paradox Wave and you'll be working with the Council of Batman. Right? right. Now talk about the Nexus a little bit. What happens there? How is it different? So in the Nexus, you meet up with uh, your team and get a little explanation as to the goings on of things. I don't know how, how detailed you want me to get into this. About as detailed as I just got. All right. And you may also be uh, seeing the other side there. Exactly. You're fighting the other yeah, side. Absolutely. So you kind of start out with an intro from your council mm-hmm. members, kind of see them in there, walk into the Nexus. Then they shift you into the reality where the Luthers are. And you actually have a fight in the Nexus of reality with the opposing council. Yeah, that's really cool. And you'll be choosing kind of who you want to take out when to really shape the battle and which Luthers you want to, you know, face and how. It, it's pretty neat. Yeah, it's really cool. And we'll go over that when we when we get to it. Any other questions in there, Mr. Meps? I think, I think that's good. I think that's it. All right. All right. So do we want to get started with what, we, what we're what we kind of going to do here? You yeah, ready so to jump in? Long, long asked question is, you know, um, who would win in a fight? Right? Yeah. That's always like, who would win the fight between... No, you should do this in your... Come on. <laughs> No, SJ's got the spot. best, the best uh, 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 forum voice. Come on, no, you gotta no. do it for us. You don't uh, want to? No, not happening. All right, it has to come natural. Oh yeah, <laughs> you can't force it. Turn on like. That. <laughs> All right, I think somebody asked me last time we did this to do T.O. Morrow voice, and I um, had the same response yeah. as you. I was like, no, I can't. I'm not just gonna not do it on command. I have to prepare. <laughs> it has to be authentic. All right, so um, there's always those questions of. Who would win the fight between Captain Marvel and Green Arrow? I mean, Captain Marvel. Yeah, that's a common one. <laughs> I don't okay. think, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think anybody's <laughs> ever asked that question, but now they have. Maybe. You're the first. Congratulations. Uh, exactly. Uh, but, you know, what are the matchups? Who would win this fight versus that fight? Well, we are going to answer some of those questions for you right here. And now we are going to actually have council on council fights. Now, this doesn't actually happen in the game. Um, this is something we're just doing special for you guys. Uh, I do want to caveat that the NPCs we're about to spawn in one-on-one situations against each other are really meant to be parts of groups and be facing up to eight pl- or eight players. So, you know, there's a, it's definitely taking them out of their normal element and normal kind of cadence for how they operate with the fight, but it's pretty fun to watch them. You can kind of pick up on some of the things that they're going to do, maybe start formulating some tactics. <laughs> so what uh, Meps and I are going to do is I'm going to spawn a future Luther, 
I'm gonna and and he's gonna spawn a, spawn a future Batman, and we're gonna we're gonna have a, a throwdown battle right now that pretty much brings to the conclusion <laughs> that those two trailers we saw with Batman coming for Luther. All right, so so place your bets now. In yeah, the chat. Who's exactly. Gonna Who's gonna win? Future bats. Future Lex or future bats? Let me get my uh, my cheat sheet here, and maps. We will we will count this down together. Oh wait, oh wait, I I ruined it already. What? Did you spawn him already, you big cheater? Yep. Getting an advantage of being ready. All right. All right, count it down. Three, two, one, go. All right. I, I ruined it. Oh, you ruined so it again? Sorry. Okay. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's that's actually uh, Cyborg Lexi here. So <laughs> I've got my... Uh, I think I've got my uh, my duders mixed up. Do you have the sheet? I do not have that All right. sheet. Here, just kill him and I'll, uh, I'll take care of it. All right. Take care of it. There we go. He is dead. All right. Are you gonna? You're not gonna spawn them both, are you? Yeah. Well, or do you have the number? It's two five five six. Is future? All right. You're looking at that. Ready? No. <laughs> that's ready what now. I did spawn. I wonder why that did the other one. Oh, maybe you spawned the Luther. Okay, you ready? Yep. I go. All right. I went. There's future Luther. Your plan is weak. And future Batman. Here we go, people. It's never happened before. And it's happening right now in the Paradox Wave. Future Doesn't Batman. Look good for bats so far. Versus Future Luther. Let me turn on the HUD so everybody can see the actual health bars here. Come on, guys. Make it happen. A little knockback going on there. Don't waste my time! Oh, a little dot. A little field. Not good for Batman. He needs to get out of there. Yeah, Batman is getting pummeled right now. This this is not right. Oh, I'm encased. <laughs> this is not right. I agree. You don't think that's right? I guess. Well, I guess I'm on Lex's side. Never mind. Are okay, you? Go Lex. <laughs> I'm a flip. Stay out of my way. I'm getting encased as we as we watch. You've this. already lost. Oh, come back. Did you toggle hate, by the way? I did. Okay, good. I'm safe. Good. In an undisclosed location. Yes. Come on, guys. It's getting close. All right. It's coming down to it. They're taking their time with each other right now. They're being careful. Uh oh. They have a lot uh -oh. on the line here. Uh oh. This is, uh oh. This is history. Uh oh. Who predict? How many predi people predicted Batman win. versus Luther? There's some t Oh no! Come on, bats! <laughs> no, don't take time to. Wow. Oh no, he's doing the big orbital strike. Yeah. He ends yeah. it with a. <laughs> All right. Okay. Did is the chat room uh, uh, satisfied with that result? Is our our winnings exchanging hands? No. <laughs> like it. Some people think that Batman cheated, but how did Batman cheat? He's Batman. I know. He's not a cheater. He's just resourceful. There's right. a big difference. You cheat when you're a villain. You dig deep <laughs> when you're a hero. All right, let's spawn another. Let's spawn some others. So let's actually get into some of the council members fighting with each other so you can actually see some of the powers that they're going to have during the, uh, during the fights. Do you want to surprise each other with who we're, we're going to uh, match up right now, or would you like sure. to throw it to the chat yeah, room? No, let's, let's surprise each other. All right, all right. I am going to enter in... Right now, hold on. All right. Wait, I'm still picking. I'm still Let picking. Me oh, come on, buddy. There's only there's only four of them to choose <laughs> I know, from. I know, but I gotta read what you're doing. What are you? Oh, you're trying. You. It's like a poker game. <laughs> trying to outthink each other here. Should I bluff and tell him I'm going space commander? I've already picked. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Bam. General Luther <gasps> versus Ninja. This is good. Melee guys that are very crafty. All right, so you can see uh, General Lex has the rifle. Uh, Ninja Batman is going to be fighting with martial arts and dual wheel kind of stuff. Um, and then they both have some pretty cool time. special abilities that you can see right here as well. No. For those of you asking, this is just the AI 
going at it. This is not anybody controlling that. Yeah, no, no legends. This is just sort of like fun kind of uh, DC Universe Online deathmatch what if scenario here. And again, these guys really uh, don't um, mix like this in the actual DLC. They're separate from each other. You mix it up with the various councils or fight with them, but you won't really see these kind of things going on in game right now. Oh, the flamethrower! No! Oh, he got oh wow. You know, General <laughs> is not doing too well. Nope. He needs to pull off a surprise maneuver here. If only, Both of go ahead. If only we had a pirate Lex. I, I know. If there were <laughs> if we had pirate Lex, we could answer the age old question. <laughs> Maybe we should get a pirate Lex going. Okay, now he's whipped out the sword, but it might be a little too little too little too late here. I'm, oh, I'm waiting for I'm, I don't know he's if he's gonna up. come back. Look at him, he's he's toying with him. It's a and you can hear Kevin Conroy doing some of the ninja stuff. All right. Awesome. Batman wins again. I think Batman did cheat. I'm but that's Ninja Batman, so I think it's understandable. <laughs> yeah, you are 2 and oh. Wait a minute. Where This wasn't about you and me, Ted. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where that was specified. This Oh, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. You want to pick one? Point. Oh. Who do you think? Okay. Okay. All right, we're ready on our end. We got our we got our ready. guy in the shoot, ready to go. Count it down. Three, two, one. Weakness suits you. Professor Luther versus GCPD Batman. Oops, assassin and Nin or Ninja Batman. You gotta kill that guy. Ah. <laughs> you do it. Ninja Batman is a cheater. All right, I bet I yeah. bet Professor Luther with his gadgetry can can take both these guys. Uh, see you now well, now they're getting cheesy. You want to leave to go? Now they're getting cheesy. So, um, GCPD, GCPD Batman is going to be using a pistol and a shield. He's got some interesting thing that he can do. You can see Professor Luther uses those gauntlets for hand blasting maneuvers and other cool Knowledge kind of technological attacks. By the way, they are rubber bullets. Oh, for yeah, for GCPD Batman, he is using um, um, non-lethal ammunition exactly. in his weaponry. As you can see, there's he'll have things like cryo foam and. Um, you know, kind of tear gassy kind of stuff. Okay, this no. is just not fair, and we're gonna we're gonna do this again when you actually get rid of. Oh, see, you've brought in Space Commander now. What's going on? I don't know. You're really running off the rails oh. here. <laughs> Notice he waited till. Professor yeah, I know. Now it's still two on one. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking. I was a slow typer. Oh man! All right. <laughs> Come here, General. You get another shot at this, too. Now I'm going to counter by spawning a dude. Cease and desist! So there you can hear uh, GCP did Batman with his little kind of, you know, riot, riot police kind of <coughs> commands going on. Oh! Hey! Oh, we got. Get him, General! If you can't beat him with a sliver of health, I have no faith in you anymore. All right, good. Now he's going to join the fight over here. The flamethrower taking down GCP D Batman. Now I'm dangerously close to going into the rest of the Paradox Wave. I think the Luthers are trying to lead me down this hall. That's a good I'm, strategy. I'm going to resist. Here's some of the cryo foam from GCPD Batman. You can see some of Luther. Let's see if Luther does his cool, um, his cool sneak attack maneuver. No, he won't. All right, let me get rid of both these guys, and we'll start from start from fresh. scratch again. All right. Okay, both those guys heading back go over here. All right, so there's only really now, I think, I think we've actually seen, I, I have one more to show. And I think you do too. Yes. Right? Um. You should. Unless you cheated them all in somehow. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. All right. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. All right. Spawn them. Go. All right, I put in Cybernetic Luther, and we have Primal Batman. Let's see how this goes. This is like technology versus what? The opposite of technology. Yeah, <laughs> versus spirit, spiritual powers yeah. versus technological powers. Oh no, we actually we haven't seen Steampunk Batman yet. Oh yeah, you're right. Steam powers. Shut we up and fight. And you jumped, you jumped uh, the gun on Space Commander, so I have to do a repeat. <laughs> It's okay. All right, so you can see Cybernetic. He fights with a shield as well, and it's the uh, really cool holographic shield with an L on it. And uh, Primal Batman doing his uh, roars and things like that. Um, much more kind of a meta meta take on the character. 
and uh, you can see Luther using the shield and the shield powers. That's kind of magic. Yeah, and he throws it, of course, <laughs> knocking him on his butt for the big three <laughs> shield throw combo. Shield's cool. And he actually ah. puts up a shield around himself, too, which is really a neat power. He's got some cool stuff. I actually think Cybernetic Lex is one of the more powerful Lexes. There's he the shield so we too. were talking about. Yeah, <laughs> each one does, right? <laughs> I'm the most powerful that, Luther. <laughs> The shield animals look badass with the robot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, it's getting really close. What do you? Oh, Primal might pull this out. Nope, nope. No, Primal. Oh, come on, get up, still Lex. It. Lex, why are you giving him a chance? <laughs> oh. All right, good. Right in the face. All right, that was a good way to end it. I think the score is four nothing. Me now. I weird mathy out there. I, it is because you cheated. You got docked points. Okay. <laughs> Didn't you watch the Masters last week? If you do something illegal, you lose off. you lose strokes. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's throw it to the chat room and see if there's anybody that wants to see like a matchup right now. Um, which Luther would you like to see against which Batman? Or maybe maps we could even do you know uh, multiples groups yeah. if you want as well. So chat, if you're if you're in there, uh, give us your suggestions. They want to see all five versus five. Okay, well, well, let's let's build up to that, people. Okay. Steampunk versus cyber. Just don't want to go to the full Monty right away. What's that? Steampunk Batman versus um, cybernetic. Steampunk versus cybernetic Luther. Yeah. No problem. I'm ready to go when you are. I'm ready. Okay, go. Steampunk. We haven't actually ah. seen him yet. Okay, you get to finally see his blunderbuss. It's so yes. funny! <laughs> He's got a ginormous blunderbuss, and this really isn't I only did this surmising. I don't think. He's not working with the police, so he uses whatever ammunition he kind of wants. <laughs> okay, cybernetic bringing in the orbital strike there, or the missile strike. Putting up the shield. Okay, now this that's on me and on Batman is actually a uh, uh, protective shield that he puts on friendly targets. So if you're fighting along with him, he'll put that shield up and it'll actually hit you as well, not just him. <laughs> All right, let's see if he'll he'll get some of the oh, lore. No. Ah, there we go. Do it. You can't compare to me! is holding his own. You can hear Marsters, like, cool, put a cool cybernetic kind of voice process on them, which I think is really awesome. And they get some cool chatter in there. Now, your keep in mind. Your reality defies logic. Your reality defies logic? Interesting. They both sound kind of robot y because of the masks and the yeah. robot <clears throat> process. Come on, guys. Make it happen. I think that shield really helped out Batman right there. He may gain some ground on cybernetic Lex. Oh no, the orbital strike. Get out of there, Lex! Move! Don't stand in the fire! Oh, and he counters with his own missile strike! Oh, that was so close! My man went down. Ah. Oh. Alright. Ted, you got that one. Nice job. Steam powered. I know. He's a beast. I'm telling you. Don't don't count him out. Alright, should we try and summon something up that will knock steam powered off the pedestal, or do we want to throw it to them again for a different uh a different There are combo? a lot of people clamoring for five V five. Oh man, they just they just don't wanna don't want to uh, Or a three V three. Here but let's do let's do a two V two, then a three V three. Okay. Alright, that works for me. Um so, surprise each other? Yeah. Pick pick any two. Pick any two. All right, hold on. I'm not ready. All right, I, I'm I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's start spawning. I'll show you the world. I'm going tomorrow. with Professor and Space Commander. Ah. The nerds are gonna <laughs> kick some butt. Ah. Who do you got going? GCPD and Future. <clears throat> yeah. You guys are going down. Ooh, they, guys split are going down. they split off. Yeah, they the... did. Oh my God, they they paired off. I love it. See what happens. Oh! Switch. Do partners. not ignore <laughs> Professor Luther, GCPD Batman. Do not turn your back. <laughs> Look what happens. <laughs> Space Commander's just kind of hanging out, going to the rocket ship or loner. something. 
Yeah, he's he spent a lot of time alone in space, so he doesn't All in the work name well of with science. Others. All right, there's a really cool uh, Professor Luther just put up that uh, gas attack, which is a nice area effect field you got to watch out for when you're facing him. And of course, GCP did Batman putting Surrender. up some suppression gas. Who's what's a, it looks like pretty even right now, especially because they paired off. They're not ganging up on, they're not they're not uh, calling <laughs> targets here. This would not happen in a PvP match unless you were pugging, <laughs> right? This is what pugs do. Pre-maids call their targets. I think I think the Luthers might pull this out. I don't like the GCPD Batman is beating up on the on the egghead over there though. That's police brutality. <laughs> Whatever. What do you mean whatever? Someone wants to see all the Batman versus maps. This is <laughs> Yeah, but you have a trinket. They realize that, right? No, professor. You must live to the end of the fight. <sighs> Somebody call down an orbital strike. Oh, this is getting we Oh no, not you guys. Oh, I loved it. Future Batman knocked Oh, that was brutal. Ouch. I thought it was going to totally go a different direction there at the end. Oh, man. I think you are cheating. Are you spawning these guys at a particular level? Because I'm just spawning mine raw. So I, I hope you're not, not cheating in mm -hmm. any way. Mm -hmm. All right. Just digging Batman. deep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, let's do a. Uh, let's. You want to do the five v five? Yeah. Let's let's go right to five v five. All right. Final match. All right. We're gonna have to just agree when to start queuing these guys up. And I have a feeling that the person who does this fastest, which likely will be me, because you run this board really well, but I type in NPC <laughs> commands much more than you do, so we'll see how fast I go. Yeah, well, I think I'm going to mm -hmm. get a, a alpha strike on you, like you wouldn't believe. Do we want to kind of, you? And by the way, you're cheating. You have a Batman back there. Oh, oh, let me go kill him. They said five on five maps, not six on five. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. All right. All right. It's clear. The now, arena is clear. Now, are do you want to just kind of count these off and enter them in uh, like at a metered pace or just go straight full I, on? I think let's just go straight. Just just as fast as you can? That's yep. part of the game? Yep. Okay. You tell me when you're ready. I am ready. Okay, go. You'll wish you were never born. Oops, I messed up. I clearly got all five of mine out before you even got the third. I oh, know, I hit the wrong button. If you have repeats, it's all null and void. <laughs> well, I think I got five out. I need to kill one of them, because I got a double. Got Stay two steam power. Oh, we of everybody. course, you conveniently oh. accidentally spawned two of the most powerful ones. <laughs> Man, what am I dealing with here? <gasps> SJ, it's not fair. I think it's a paradox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're, you, you know if those two copies actually do kind of meet each other that the game explodes maps, right? You're playing well, with the very nature and fabric of the that universe. Was, that was risky. <laughs> right. How am I losing? <laughs> I don't know. Because it's Batman. I, it's my, they must have called in some orbital strike or something. <laughs> Come on, guys. Focus target. Steam-powered Batman. Let's go. Everybody on steam-powered. You. They are not win. listening to me. They are not. You are not directing your battle very well. <laughs> no. Oh, there's some kind of strike coming down. I don't know if it's mine or theirs. Looks like my guys got out of the way. Cybernetic left. Luther is going down. I keep getting hit by the shield. I don't need protection. Okay, we have to take... Did we take any of your guys out yet? What's going on with future Batman? He's like, hasn't even taken any damage yet. That is weird. I don't know how it happened. Wow. All right. I think we have to do it again because you, yep, yep. sir, I, I, uh, had I a fault. I fingered and it ruined it. Let's try All right. Again. Even with my super fast spawning, it did not work. But I have. I warn you, I'm going to spawn even faster now because well, of... So I spawned a sixth one and then killed the fifth one. So that just uh, made it weird. So, yeah, you got extra health out of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you ready to go? Nope. No? Hang on. My guys are going to come out so fast now. It's not even funny. I don't even have to change a number anymore. I'm just... I know. You're just completely just typing them in. Now I, I can't even do I don't that. Even okay, have to I'm type. ready. Ready? Go. You don't stand a chance against a man like me. Done. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I got all the right ones in this time. 
Pull together, Batman. I'm glad that <laughs> Batman wants to help me out there. Even though I'm spawning all the loot. There's oh, that was a waste. Somebody kited everybody out of that. I know. Bad tactic. Oh, cybernetic, cybernetic goes down again! Alright, clearly I must revise my opinion that he's the toughest of the losers. Knowledge is the ultimate power. See? Knowledge. Who's, who's got the most, H, most HP now? It's a uh, Commander Luther. None of my guys. Oh. Professor Luther, the, the egghead oh, is... Oh, well, now they're going down. No, yeah, now it's, this is ridiculous. Now it's a route. Oh, that was cool. Oh, come on. Yes, yeah, steam powered goes down. No. You know what? I actually think this is not going to go your way. <laughs> come on, guys. Oh, they have Ninja and Future coming up on Professor, and everybody's <laughs> going around the corner. They just want us to reveal something no of the Paradox Wave. Scream. Yeah. Come on, Professor. Ninja is facing Commander down, uh, in, down, down the, the hallway. Down in the hall. <laughs> You know what, Professor might actually take out both Future and GCPD if he gets a decent attack <laughs> off here. Come on. Yes! Oh, come No, on. Ninja oh, snuck oh, up no, with the stealth over. attack! Damn, that was Oh, no! <laughs> That's Ninja! Good tactics, people. Ninja! Alright, come on, Commander. Come on, Commander. No! Get that 50s ray gun working! <laughs> Come on. You are a scar on reality. Ooh, burn. That's some harsh words. Oh, it's so close. If he could just do like one big orbital thing it's right now. Ninja is going down. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. That was pretty epic. All right. Close. You know, I would say let's do two out of three, but that was two out of three. <laughs> and I lost. It's terrible. All right. Clearly. The content team has some balancing to do. <laughs> right, Maps? Yeah, uh, to bal balance for the death match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's the council. You got a little bit about their backstory. Really cool yep. fractured timelines and stuff. Um, I think the team and you did a really good job putting those guys together. Um, cool, I cool. know that the character team enjoyed building those guys. Um, and. We've got uh, some announcements to make, I think, that we would like to share with you. And we are going to be doing next Tuesday, we're going to be doing another Origin Crisis um, uh, live stream. And that is going to be at 4 p.m. Pacific on Tuesday, so tune in for that. And then join us this Friday for Friday Night Legends again. We'll be joined by Squad 11, um, and we'll be doing some more PvP, right, Maps? That's correct. We okay. will also have a short quantum teaser. This if Friday, if we have hopefully. time for it, if we have time for it, well, you'll just we'll have to make space. If we have time for it. Oh, that was even better. <laughs> SJ came over the top with it. Did you hear it? No, I missed it. She said, it, "And you'll have to make space for it in the broadcast." Ah, it's we'll good. Make space. You know, but thankfully, quantum powers let us bend and warp all that stuff how we how we see fit. Yep. Okay, so uh, next, next Tuesdays. Live stream is on quantum. Yes, so come back for that. Right, for sure. But maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll leak something. But I think Dead Meat's watching, so that <laughs> might not happen now. But I'm a rebel, so I might do it anyway. Or maybe I'll have Meps do it because he's. I'm not. I'm not taking the fall for you. <laughs> no, not at all. Okay. All right. Are we good? You have anything else you want to announce? I think that's it. Okay. So thank you everyone for showing up and checking that out. Thanks, SJ, for coming on and Thanks giving us a little me. backstory on, on these guys. That was a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoyed the deathmatch. We may actually do this again in the future, but maybe with some of the other iconics we have in the game. See a little what-if scenarios. So, uh, Meps, maybe we should start a thread. Sure. Get some battles going. Like people. Captain Marvel and Green Arrow. They, awesome. like, like Captain Marvel and Green Arrow. So awesome. I think that would be great. <laughs> I think, though, that uh, Black Canary has to be a part of that, too. We need the duo versus, <laughs> versus Cap, because Cap's pretty tough. Okay, thanks again, guys. We really had a lot of fun showing you this stuff, and uh, uh, look forward to seeing you next time.